All right, guys, we're back staring at my engine bay. Now, because of the way YouTube works, I have to make the title of this video what it is so that, you know, people can find it and things like that. So you guys already know what I'm getting ready to do, but I'm going to pretend that you don't. So I just received this package from Paradigm Engineering. And for you guys that don't know, they make a lot of aftermarket parts for the B58. Um, so little accessories and things like that to help dress up your engine bay. So we're going to open this up and see what I got. All right, so what we have here is the Paradigm Engineering oil filter housing. Now this piece will basically replace the plastic oil filter housing that comes from the factory. So it's just a nice piece to kind of dress up your engine bay, get rid of some plastic and replace it with some high quality metal. Now this is a full aluminum piece. They're actually CNC machining this and you can see some pictures of that on their website as well as if you look down, you can see it's actually on sale right now. So. A nice little discount and they have a couple different color options that you can get so you can get it in clear which will just be the natural finish you can get it in black like I did or you can get it in red now you guys probably know I'm not huge on dress-up mods I don't do a lot of stuff like this but because I can get this piece in black I think it's definitely worthwhile for me it's still you know kind of a clean and sleek look while getting the advantages of having a metal piece instead of the plastic one. So just a nice little upgrade and just something you can do to dress up your engine bay a little bit and have something different. So yeah, thanks again to Paradigm Engineering for sending this out to me. I'll have a link in the description if you guys are interested in buying this part. And I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's actually really simple. So yeah, let's hop right into it. So what we're going to be doing is replacing this plastic piece back here. So unfortunately, this is like the first BMW in a long time where the oil filter is not right at the front of the engine bay, but it's still pretty easy to get to. The only thing that we're going to need to install this is a 32 millimeter socket. I recommend trying to find one that's a little more shallow just to give you some more room to work with back there. They sell a lot of deep sockets, but a shallow one will work a lot better. And then you're also going to want a replacement filter. Again, this just comes with all new gaskets and everything, so it's nice to replace it, and it's pretty cheap. I always go with the man filters, but there are plenty of options out there depending on what you want to use. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this harness just to get it out of the way. So you kind of push these tabs down, and then it'll slide off. And that just gives you a little bit more room to work with. And then I'm going to take some rags and kind of drop them down here just in case some oil comes out. So that way it'll catch the oil and prevent it from getting everywhere. This is also something of course you can do during an oil change just to make it even more simple, but because I just did an oil change about a month ago, I'm just going to replace the filter. Now we're going to take this 32 millimeter socket and we're going to basically remove the oil filter housing. I have this joint on here because it's gonna be hard to get a straight shot onto there. Um, you can remove like all of this trim if you want to to be able to access it a little bit easier But I'm just going to cheat and use this joint And you can see there's not a lot of oil in there So just a little bit dripped from the filter itself, but it's really not too messy of a job all right, so now we have the oil filter housing here and we're basically ready to transfer everything over. So go ahead and remove the oil filter. And this cage structure needs to come out so that it can go into the oil filter housing from Paradigm Engineering. So you can kind of see what's going on here. It has like these little tabs that squeeze in, but you're not really going to be able to access them. So you just kind of need to pull it out, use some pliers and a lot of force and pull it straight out and it'll pop out. You can see I kind of broke some of the tabs as well as I was messing with it with my pliers, but that's not really the end of the world. So take your time 
squeeze on the corners and pull it straight out and it'll come. And then we're going to pop that into the slot so it goes right in the middle and you just push until it clicks in place. And then you should feel it, it'll feel really firm. And now we're gonna take out our new filter. And this is the gasket that we want. So we'll replace the gasket. And slide that onto here. Make sure it goes all the way down into that groove. All the way around, lube it up with a little bit of oil. Still have a bunch on my hands, so I'll use that. And then you're going to put your new oil filter on. And now we're ready to reinstall it on the car. And then you can see right on the filter housing, it tells you the torque spec, so tighten it to 25 newton meters. So yeah, now you have everything installed. And like I said, you can get it in a lot of different colors. So if you like red or the clear aluminum finish, it'll kind of dress things up a little bit. And again, this is a part that you won't have to worry about dealing with heat and things like that in the engine bay. It's anodized, so it's not like powder coated or painted or something where you know, potentially the finish could chip off or fail over time. But yeah, I definitely think it's a high quality piece. You can even feel, you know, the weight and everything in your hand. It's a really nice, just small upgrade to make your setup a little bit different from the rest. So thanks again to Paradigm Engineering for sending this out to me. Again, check out the link in the description if you're interested in a part like this or anything else that they sell. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.